Today, um, I was supposed to be doing another um, space picture, but I'm just going to show you. Let me just show you. Let me move this for a second. So here we go. Here's what it was going to be on. So I just I spent the afternoon. I just made a, a frame for this piece of board here. I want to do a epoxy resin uh, coating on the space picture when I'm finished. So I just got the frame on. Um, it's glued and tacked and stuff and it's going to be quite a large large one but anyway it's not for today because it's not ready so what I'm going to do instead is something a little bit abstract and hopefully hopefully it'll look kind of nice um, I'm going to do a full black background um, and uh, I'm going to come at it with uh, using this cookie cutter I'm going to uh, sit it on top of the black background I'm going to fill it with the, the different colors of paints I've got um, some metallic red uh, some metallic gold. I've got a metallic blue. Um, it's a Rem called Rembrandt, I think. I think it's metallic. Let me just check. No, just Rembrandt blue. It's not a metallic blue. Um, and I've got some yellow and some magenta. Um, and I'm going to layer them in multi layers on top of each other until this is full. And on top of the black background, then I'm going to move it and spread it. And I'll probably use the hair dryer then just to spread it out a little bit, or maybe. We'll see how it looks. Um, I'm just toying with the idea of putting some silicone into one or two of the colors, just for some cells, seeing as that's what we've been focusing on the last um, couple of weeks. Um, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna pause there for a sec while I get set up. Okay, I'm back. Um, in the background, you'll probably hear some piano music. It's my daughter practicing, just having a bit of fun. Um, okay, so what uh i got this idea i was looking around trying to find uh, some inspiration and i was looking at a video by uh one of those really good youtubers olga sobi i think is her name but uh, she was brilliant um she had this uh, kind of idea only she did half white half black but i'm just going to do all black and i'm using different colors and i'm just going to see what happens so in the first instance i'm going to do the background and we'll see how this goes so i've already prepared this um black paint and um, it should be mixed nicely, nice and loose. It should be pretty loose. So we'll see it. If it hopefully it's not too loose. We'll see. I've never got worked on a board before. It should be interesting. It's actually, it's not bad. Okay. I want to go all the way over the edges, so I want to make sure I've got plenty. There we go. That will do. I'm gonna use the hair dryer just to spread it. <clears throat> okay, that actually went uh, pretty smoothly. You've seen some of my starts uh, before, I hope. <laughs> they don't usually uh, go nice and easy like that, even the starts. You see me uh, turning off the camera to go and clean up um, the floor where the paint splashes and making a mess. Um, I'm just doing the edges here. Um, just making sure they've all got the coating so that the, when I come to the colors that they'll move nicely on it. We'll see how that goes now. That's not too bad. Okay. <clears throat> Simple as that. First, I'm going to get the gun. I'm going to take any air bubbles out of that. It doesn't look too bad, actually. There's a little tiny hair, but I'm not going after it. It'll do. It'll be invisible in a minute. Anyway. Okay, so almost no air bubbles in that. That's fantastic. Okay, so where's my cutter? Cookie cutter. Um, I'm going to start a little bit here, I think. Okay, I'm gonna layer the colors and I'm gonna repeatedly layer them. So I'm gonna actually start with my lovely new metallic red, which I got in a shop down the country in Ireland in Mayo, of all places. Little layer of that nice red. The red, the metallic colors have a little bit of silicone in them now. Um, that was just, uh, I only had two metallic colors, so I put the, the, just to keep it simple, I put the, silicone into the two of them okay 
<laughs> you were struggling with that song. Oh, oh please pause, I've got to open the door. Yeah. So I'm back. I am back. So the life goes on in the house, whether you're painting or not painting. So <laughs> here's the yellow. That didn't layer very well. I must have it a bit looser than the blue. Okay, I do it by eye, so it's a bit tricky. Okay, we'll go with the magenta. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna come back to my gold. I don't think I put in any of my gold. It. Oh, stay still, you little sod. Okay, I gotta get that up out of there. It's trying to spread already, look at it. Little little messer. Okay, a little bit more of the red. I'm not ready for that yet. It's a beautiful red actually. Um, a little bit more of that Rembrandt blue. And I'm almost ready to go. Um, and a little bit more yellow. I was thinking of doing white, but I, I decided to use yellow for the light color instead of white just for a change. Okay. Not a little bit of yellow. There we go. And I think that's enough. Okay. <clears throat> you can see it's already done it. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm gonna just easy across. There we go. I'll just stop, put that down. It's, it's a lot of colors. There's no denying. Let's see what we can do with this now. I don't wanna work this too much or anything like it. Um, geez, you know, I'm almost tempted to roll this to the sides, just roll it around the, around the black. It's just starting to really do interesting things and I don't think I want to work it too hard. Or maybe I'll try the hair dryer. Try the hair dryer. this that's some really pretty stuff going on um, okay so I'm just gonna tip it a little bit Let's see what I get just a little bit It's quite pretty, isn't it? Look at the colors are fantastic. And I'm not gonna to do too much more because I wanna keep some of that nice negative space, but I just wanna get a little less negative space. There we go. Keep that pretty, there we go. Hold it, let's have a look again. Hmm, no. Let's have a little think. Let just get a stick or something and see if I can move some of that around a little bit. Okay. Gently does it. Okay, pretty. Like that. Not too much, just... Just to extend it out just a little bit in an interesting way. Sorry, I need to wipe that in between, don't they? Just to give it a little bit more um, depth. Yeah. Mm, piano music stopped, I was enjoying that. Okay, there we go. Just feed it out a little bit, that's it. Yeah, it's better with this, so it's going to take me a couple of minutes. I know this isn't the most exciting uh, part of this video, but it's um, it's going to take me a couple of minutes just to get this the way I like. Yeah, that's kind of cool. 
just to feed it like that, yeah, on this side a little bit, let's see. That's it. And a little bit of the uh, green, if I can get it to move without disturbing it, the red. That'd be nice. Yeah. Mm hmm I got some really beautiful colours and the cells, look at those cells. I'm going to have to hit it with the gun now before it starts to settle in any way. Okay, and one little more spot, just this purple, or the magenta, there we go, just stand it out, there we go, nice. Um, hold there, my hands are covered in paint because I'm using my fingers. Okay, I've got a little problem there, I've got to fix. Um, and I've created it, of course, inevitably. Let's just put a little bit of that there. And a little bit of that there. Okay, steady. Let's let the blue be seen just a little bit. There we go. And it kind of that looks okay. So <clears throat> tiny bit. Of, I don't want to touch it with that. So touch it with this. That's not bad. Um, it's kind of pretty. And hold there. Let me see. I don't want to do too much with that. I actually think it really looks really nice. I'm not going to go any further. I'm going to take uh, the gun and see what happens when it, if there's any air bubbles in it. Shouldn't be too bad. And hopefully, I've learned from last week's mistake, I think, um, where last week I had uh, uh, silicone in um, all of the colors and it was just, no, in fairness, it came out great, but it was just, it could have been more by being a little bit, using a little less, if you know what I mean. So, um, like that. Um, and I've got that problem come back. I wonder if i got a bit of silicone or something sitting right there. So I'm just going to drop a little bit of um, black back into that spot again. For some reason, it's uh, it's just coming away from the, from the wood. I don't know why. I'm just going to drop that there and spread it a little bit there so that it just isn't obvious yeah perfect uh, and there's another one here oh dear okay we might have a couple of um, that's probably just the silicone <clears throat> let me make sure i haven't got any more there's one more over here which needs a touch up which i'll do now and let's just see if there's any more because now is the time to fix Hmm. Let's take a little look around, see if there's any other spots like that. Just going to put a little bit more black there. Check around. And we're looking pretty good, I think.
it's not the longest video today thankfully I, it, things have gone for the first time ever um, according to plan ha isn't that cool <laughs> maybe I am learning something um, there we go that's today's video um, like and subscribe um, come back for more this is a cool picture it's gonna look amazing when I put um, when I put the um, epoxy resin on it if I'm able to do that well I haven't done that to one of these pictures yet before so that's going to be really interesting to try. Um, thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye. <laughs> I actually have to switch it back on. I forgot uh, to give you a little up close view. So from my side, this is what I'm looking at as um, the bottom. Essentially, my side is intended to be the bottom, but I suppose it's all personal preference. But here we go, okay? And I'll try to keep it as steady as I can. You can see those beautiful cells and that co the colors. The only uh, colors with this one that had the silicone oil in it was the gold and the red, the metallic gold and metallic red. And look at how pretty it came out. It's a pity that light's directly over because it's very hard to get a good picture, but there you go.